So now let's rewrite our change counter program and this time with a type conversion. So um, again this time our program should accept the user input as ints and then anything else should be the same. So let's get started. Okay. So this is the previous version of our change program. So the problem with this is, uh, let's, let's write run this in Python. Notice that we said the, the quarters, dimes, and nickels, and pennies must be integers. You can't have a half quarter, right? However, this program will still allow you to enter 4.5 quarters and 2.3 dimes, 1.6 nickels, and 0.5 pennies. And program will work just fine. However, we know that that's wrong. In the real life, we don't have, uh, say, half quarters. So how can we fix this? So one thing we should do is we should make sure that the user enters integer. If the user doesn't enter integer, the program should fail or should uh, issue an error. So I'm going to save this program. I'm going to save this as change2.py. So I've got two versions now. So I'm going to change the eval. Eval can take anything, evaluated, assigned to quarter. So if you enter uh, an integer, it will assign an integer to quarter, and quarter will be an integer value. If you enter a floating point, it will assign a floating point to quarter. Or if you just enter text, it will assign text to quarter. So uh, eval is a pretty smart function. However, it can be dangerous at times. So now I'm going to say integer. And remember the int function is the uh, typecasting, which will take the raw input as text. So if you enter 4, you will actually uh, assign uh, 4 in quotations to int function, and I will convert it to a regular integer value and assign it to quarter. So everything else should be the same. So let's save this. And rerun. So now you must enter integers. So 4, 5, 3, and 1. Program will work uh, just fine. However, try entering 4.5 as quarters, you'll uh, crash the program because it will say that invalid literal for int with base 10. So we cannot enter 4.5 now.